Why did I take on the responsibility of practically raising a child? Lindsay Mitchell has been taking care of four-month-old Maya for almost four weeks now. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've always loved dogs, I've always loved animals. I love staying busy and I love kind of always having someone around to play with, to mess with, to go on walks with. Mitchell got Maya through Doggy Do Good, an organization that finds purebred dogs and then tests their mannerisms to see if they are eligible to be trained as working service dogs. Good sit, Maya. Maya, down. Good down. After the puppy is picked, they are then given to raisers like Mitchell. So I'm not a certified trainer, but um, I do get to love her until she's six months old and get to expose her to just kind of general life in um, classroom settings and storefronts and things that she'll be exposed to when she's older. When Maya is about six months old, she will then go on to live with the trainer, where she will have formal round-the-clock training. And Maya is a very vocal German Shepherd, so she will most likely become a medical alert dog for someone who has a medical illness like diabetes, who needs insulin reminders, or someone who has seizures, and she'll be able to alert um, her caretaker. Mitchell says she is happy she made the choice to be a raiser and encourages other college students to do so too. It's definitely worthwhile. It does. It is responsibility, sure, but at the end of the day, you are helping a dog grow up to help someone in, for the rest of their life, and, and that's awesome for me. Allison Martinez, Mustang News.